Hello everybody, I'm Flavio Turchetti, UTD Instructor Trainer. Welcome to this video blog that, like the previous ones, is dedicated to all of you who are moving your first steps inside the DI Aero Guardian configuration or are to going to prepare for one of my essential courses. This time we will see how to apply the both snaps to the primary regulator long hose using the correct knot. This knot is the same one we use for the SPG and we will see that we can also use this one for the anchoring point of the bolt snaps to the primary light head. First of all, we have to understand that the main goal of these bolt snaps is to maintain mobile equipment part fastened and in order when not in use. In this way, nothing will hang around risking to be entangled in their surroundings. In the same way, we have to be able to eliminate these anchoring points quickly in case of entanglement, cutting the rope that fastens the bolt snap. This is the main reason why we don't allow the use of plastic cable tie like many divers are used to doing. These cable ties have at least four defects. One, they can be cut easily without risking to damage the hose. Two, they last a lot less under the sun rays and can suddenly break. 3. They, can, they have to be tightened firmly in order to remain in place, but this will ruin the hose. 4. It's easier to damage your dry gloves on the cutting edge of the cable tie. We prefer the use of a 2 mm max thickness rope having the length of 30-35 cm which will last for a longer time. Now, let's consider in detail what we need and how to make the knot of the primary regulator hose bolt snaps as well as the anchor point knot of the primary light head. So, what's the stuff we need? A bolt snap whose size would vary based on its use. The SPG bolt snap, for example, is bigger and even when we use thicker dye gloves underwear, we could need the bigger bolt snaps. Okay, for sure we need scissors, then a lighter, any lighter will do, but uh, I prefer a zippo, like this one, because you can place it standing up, leaving both of your hands free to work. As you can see. Then a 2mm maximum thickness nylon rope, length around 30-35cm, will help you to mark more easily. So, how to make it? First of all, we have to establish the correct bolt snap position close to the little finger of your hand, as we saw in the previous video blog I made. Then take the rope and let it pass three times inside the eye of the bolt snap. Then you can weave together the two ends of the rope half of a square knot. Here you can see the three rounds of the rope. Now let's turn the two hands, putting them in the opposite direction, tightening the tie contemporarily. Now we can go to the opposite side, strangling the tie, and then we can close it. To close it, we can use a square knot, also called reef knot. This is an easy knot to do, but make sure the ends went the right way. Now we have to block the, no the knot using the flame to melt the ends. As I said before, it's easier using a zippo because your hands remain free. You can melt one end and spread it with the lighter itself. And then do the same with the other end. Wait until the end burns and then spread it with a lighter.
Now let's see how to set up the anchor point of the primary light head ball snap. This one. As you probably already know, UTD invented a smart way to stow the primary light head using a longer double ender ball snap. Like in my other specific video blog dedicated to the primary light management, this ball snap has to allow you to easily go inside the space with your hand and move the head in all directions. So the distance from the head and the anchor point has to be like the measurements of your hand and the space has to allow you to let your fingers pass. So, different light heads have to have different anchor point sizes. This head, for example, has a different head shape compared to the other, so the anchor point size and position will be different. This is the right point to set up the elastic with the loop for the ball snap. The length of the elastic will be different for each LED headlight. Here are two elastics that have already been prepared with spread knots at their end. And this is the position where to put the elastic loop. Now we can make the same knot learned before. Make three turns around the elastic and the cable. Let's begin to tighten, checking the position of the loop. Let's make the first half waving of the rope ends be sure they go to the opposite direction let's pass the rope under the elastic knots then enlarge the loop till the knots go to the end Let's check the loop is on the cable in the center in reference to the Goodman handle. Now let's strangle the knot closing it with a square or reef knot. Now we can use a lighter, a different lighter, to melt and spread the end. Wait till the ends burn and spread it with a lighter. Go to the other end and do it again. I hope you enjoy this video blog and I hope to see you soon.